I hate early mornings. I hate leaving my bed. I love sleeping. I'm not a morning person at all. I cannot believe this used to be me until Hey guys, it's me Larissa. Welcome to my channel. So today's video is nothing but the ultimate 4 a.m. morning routine and it's going to change your life. Sorry. I don't want to sound like a motivational speaker, but I'm not here to give you false hopes either. Everything I mention in this video has been tried and tested by me and works 100%. Waking up at 4 a.m. and practicing certain things has changed my life for the best and it has helped me through one of my toughest times. So I think it can change your life as well. In the next few minutes I'm going to be sharing my routine and uh, I follow this usually every day. Sometimes I skip a day or two but that's about it. Uh, the core concept of waking up at 4 a.m. stays in place and there's a lot of self-improvement, mental peace and a nourished life. So without further ado, let's get into the video. My alarm rings sharp at 3:55 a.m. and when it does and my eyes open, I make it a point that I get out of bed within 5 seconds. Here's a tip. The best way to wake up and not snooze is by getting out of bed as soon as you wake up. That way you have no time to think and you're out of bed before you even realize that you're up. I get into the bathroom and splash my face with water. Cold, cold water. That wakes anybody up and I take a minute or two to indulge in silence. I pray, I give thanks to the beautiful day and wish myself a good morning. You need to know it's a good morning. A little bit of stretching, recharging my body with a warm cup of water, and I immediately grab a book that I'm reading and head to my couch. Here's a tip: Do not sit or lie on your bed for the rest of your day. The bed should be associated to sleeping and sleeping alone. This mentally helps to also attain a good sleep cycle and undisturbed sleep. Worked on me like magic. The first hour of your day is the most crucial since this sets the tone for the rest of your day. I make sure the first hour of my day is dedicated to something I aim to learn more about and some dedicated time for boosting my mind. My priority currently is personal development. And believe it or not, your career growth, your personal relationships, your health, spirituality is all codependent on your personal development. If your inner soul is not at peace and not the best, it affects all areas of your life. So I read a book that's usually a self-help book for around 30 minutes to an hour depending on my mood, and sometimes I get a cup of black coffee to accompany me. Then I do the three most important things that fuel my mind. I call these the brain boosters. I sit down by myself and follow a guided meditation. This is usually a 10 to 15 minutes meditation followed by affirmations and visualization. For meditation I use the Calm app and sometimes some YouTube guided meditations. For affirmations I have a playlist on my Spotify and I simply play it. And then I write my personal affirmations down in a book and most of the times I read them out loud. It's fun. After this comes visualization. This is my favorite part. I sit and stare into space and imagine the life of my dreams. The dream house, the dream partner, the dream life, and I believe I have it already. The mind is your soul's slave. It believes what you tell it. So if you say I'm a loser and I don't deserve any better, it believes it and affirms it. So make sure your visualization is only the best for you. By 5:30, it's time to move my body. Exercise for me is the most important. If I don't exercise in the morning, my day is usually blah. I follow a workout program by my friend who is a fitness coach. Here's a tip. I usually add an activity or a great breakfast after a good workout as a reward. So that way I'm excited throughout my workout. My reward for today is longboarding. This has been my current obsession, my love, my passion. Oh my god, I cannot get enough of this.
After that by 8 a.m. I'm back home. I shower and it's a cold shower. Here's a tip. Adding a cold shower or bath helps a lot during the day. It makes you feel super energized, helps with sore muscles, good blood circulation and literally wakes you up to begin your day. And then it's time for breakfast. Very honestly, breakfast is my favorite part and meal of the day. I cannot start the day without a good time for breakfast. I love my eggs and my most special chai. Nothing like it. And that brings me to the beginning of my day. You see, there's so much that I did. And this is the end to my morning routine. After this, I get to work and go on with my daily chores. Intense, huh? Well, I religiously follow this routine and it's only gotten the best out of me. I've seen massive changes and that's why I don't see myself not doing it like ever. This has become my lifestyle and a lot of the people who follow this routine say the same. There are some days when I skip a thing or two in the routine and sometimes I even skip the whole morning routine, but I end up feeling so blah during the day and it's not at all productive. My productivity level has increased, um, my mental health is in place, even physically I think I'm at my best right now. So I think the 4am routine has just gotten the best out of me and it's going to do the same to you as well. So we have this thing on Instagram and on the Discord app, it's called 4am with Larissa. It's a page on Instagram and um, it's a server on Discord. It's a community of around 10,000 people who follow this routine. Not everybody doesn't follow it, but everybody wants to do it. And a ton of people wake up every day willingly and love it. You have to read their testimonials. Everybody loves doing this. And I'm sure if you try it out, you're gonna love it as well. You do not want to get back to your usual waking up times once you try this. Once you experience the beautiful sunrise, once you experience the birds chirping in, it's amazing, it's beautiful. It's very important to give yourself time and there's nothing better than giving the first hour of your day to yourself. This is a kind of an addiction I would say, but the best kind of addiction and an addiction that's very necessary, especially in this day and age where we're trying to fix ourselves, when we're trying to feel happier, you just need it. So I hope with this morning routine, I've tried to convince you and uh, <laughs> to become a morning person, to become an early riser. It's helped me a lot and a lot of other people as well. And you can also, Put it in the comments if you would want to try this. If you're already a part of the 4am club, hi, please put it in the comments and tell everybody that you're a part of the 4am club already. So that's it for this video. If you like it, please give it a big thumbs up and leave your comments below and tell me if you're going to try it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.